Finally tonight, a help wanted sign of sorts. It's getting an astronomical number of applicants. NASA is hiring its next generation of astronauts, the first new class in four years, and some could ultimately be bound for Mars. NBC's Tom Costello has more from Johnson Space Center in Houston. They're okay and I feel fine. For nearly 60 years, they've been America's heroes. It's one small step for man. The men and women with the right stuff. Let's tuck the hair in first. Let's now, NASA's next generation is suiting up. <laughs> Jessica Meir, PhD in marine biology, astronaut class of 2013. In your dream world, do you think about what kind of a mission you would love? I think I'd like to go back to the moon. That would be, you know, a great first step to getting to Mars eventually as well. They will have to go more inward too, otherwise it's going to be in the way of the shroud. Today, she's in the water training for a mission to the space station. It's one of the biggest indoor pools in the world, the equivalent of 60 Olympic pools, deep enough to hold 6 million gallons of water, and every new astronaut will spend considerable time here getting wet. I'm the first person to be alone on an entire planet. The movie The Martian has rekindled the public's fascination with Mars. A real Mars mission could be 20 years away. But NASA is now accepting applications for its next class of astronauts. Minimum requirements, a bachelor's degree in math, science, or engineering with experience or a military background. Certainly good communication skills, the ability to work uh, successfully on a team, both as a leader and a follower. Critical since a Mars mission could last two to three years. Would you want to go camping with somebody that you can't get along with, spend a week in the woods with them, let alone two years in a tent with those people? NASA only needs 8 to 14 new astronauts, but already more than 6,100 people have applied online. Future missions could include a rendezvous with an asteroid, even Mars. To get to that phase where we can send people there and bring them back safely, I'd be up for it. Two to three years far from home. For some, the stuff dreams are made of. Tom Costello, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.